Welcome to Computer Science Connections, Coding Book Covers. This module makes connections between ELA and computer science. Specifically, it can introduce, reinforce, or extend any student learning related to reading novels. If you're teaching about fiction, nonfiction, autobiographies, or just want to get your students coding, you've come to the right place. In this module, students will learn the basics of Sprite Lab, a block-based coding platform. The main computer science concepts in this module are sprites and events. A sprite is something you interact with, like a character or an object in a scene. Each sprite can have different properties, like its costume, size, and location. In coding, there are cause and effects relationships we trigger with events. An event is an action that tells a specific code segment to run. You can use events to make your sprite speak, move across the screen, or change with the click of a button. For example, by assigning a spin right behavior with a mouse click event, we can command this hamburger to spin to the right when it's clicked. There are four lessons in this module. In lesson one, Students will learn to code a digital book cover. Students will learn to add in a title, author, and background. Then they will add in sprites and make the scene interactive. The second lesson is an unplugged lesson where students will plan out their own book covers. Students will begin by reflecting on the books they have read and selecting one to design a book cover for. Students should imagine they are recommending the book to someone else and piquing their interest in reading it by designing a new interactive cover. In lesson three, students use the skills they learned in the first lesson to code out the book cover design they brainstormed. Students will warm up with a spiraled review of the coding blocks needed. Then they will be instructed to code their own Sprite Lab project step by step to include the title, author, main characters, setting, and summary of the book they chose. In the final unplug lesson, students will share their book covers with one another in a gallery walk activity. Students will explore and play test their classmates' book cover projects, leaving their thoughts and feedback on each other's work. The class concludes with a discussion, highlighting the role of book covers in conveying information and the uniqueness of individual designs. Often, students try to snap a green event block under the when run block, but this will not work. The event block stands on its own and any code added to it will run when the event is triggered. To test, students will need to press run, trigger the event they coded, and make sure it's working correctly. Students will encounter bugs if their selections are inconsistent. If they experience bugs, have students double check that they've selected the correct options. If there are inconsistencies in their selection, the program will not run as expected. In this example, the coder wants Wilbur, the pig, to introduce himself. However, the coder mistakenly assigned the spider sprite to say those words. Because there is no pig sprite in the event in the workspace, the text will not appear when the pig sprite is clicked. To debug, change the spider to the pig sprite in the say block connected under the event block. In every lesson plan, discussion questions are coupled with discussion goals. Check for understanding and promote student reflection by incorporating these discussion questions into your teaching. This module is aligned with Common Core ELA and the Computer Science Teachers Association standards in order to align to concepts you already teach. To help you think of ways to integrate, ask yourself, how might this module support the content I'm already teaching? And should I use this module to introduce, reinforce, or extend student learning on this topic? Don't forget about the hide and show feature for each lesson. It's best practice to only show the lesson students are currently working on. If you do not hide the following lessons, students will be moved to the next lesson automatically.
Before teaching the module, complete each coding level on your own. You can write your own code as an example for students. Make sure to review the lesson plans and additional resources. Code.org provides resources like slides, student handouts, and helpful hints to help you and your students get started. <laughs>